feeling grateful for being here today, for spending time, for investing time in your practice. Let's open the eyes. Welcome to class. Namaste. For those of you who just joined to the practice, we're gonna uh, do some drills and conditioning for for understand being Chamai Rasa. Okay, this class is suitable for those of you who are learning how to do this position. Okay, mm, for those of you who are new into a headstand, just be mindful. Okay, so everything has a progression. So after your headstand, when your core and your shoulders are strong, we continue with the next position that is Pincha Maidas. Okay? Before the practice, this is just 30 minutes. Make sure you do a few rounds of sun salutations, shoulders stretch, mobility also on your shoulders, and hamstring stretch. We're gonna start with some mobility. Bring your hands on your shoulders, and take big circles. Try to touch your elbows in front of your chest. Then all the way around. Exhale, release. Good. Palms facing up. So externally rotate your shoulders. Inhale, pinky together and apart a few times. Spread your fingers. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Two more breaths. Bend your elbows, 90 degree angle on the back of your elbows. Just from this position, inhale up and down a few times. Starting to feel activation on your shoulders. Four, three, two, one more. And one. Go. Find your downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths when you're downward facing dog. If you feel pattern in your legs, if you feel maybe one leg up at a time, take scorpion on your right or your left side. Whatever you feel you need to do before starting the practice. Take three more breaths. So, Exhale and release. Look forward, cross your legs, sit down. Sit on the center of your mat, take your prop, bring your prop on your quadriceps. Good. Like we did before, externally rotate your shoulders. Inhale and exhale, pinky together and apart. Just a few times. Place the strap, place the strap, <laughs> place the block in between your elbows, like I'm doing here. So you, your palms are facing your face. Take a long deep breath, inhale. Slowly roll down bone by bone. Bring your heels up, keep your shoulders up. Just a few times, inhale. Elbows away from your belly, closer to your head, and exhale, release. Spread your fingers, and squeeze the elbows towards your block. Move with your breath, three. Belly in, ribs in, and make sure your back is touching the floor. Two, one more. One, inhale, keep your elbows away from your belly. Bring your knees to your chest, either or, knees, bend, legs straight or low bowed position. Make sure you're not arching your back. You're arching, bend your knees instead. Let's count for 10. Palms facing your forehead. Choose your option, five more counts. Neck relax, shoulders as well. Three more counts. Two. Feet on the floor, exhale, release, release your head, look to the right, release your arms, look to your left. One more, look to the right, look to the left. Good. Cross your legs, hold your big toe, roll back and forth, roll forward to a seated position and find your all fours position. 
Take a long deep breath on your down, on your all fours. Inhale, exhale. Turn your fingers facing your knees. A few rounds of cat and cow. Relax your belly. Look up. Chin to chest. Round your back. Lift to your belly. Belly relax. Look up. Inhale. Chin to chest. Round your back. Three more. Inhale. Belly relax. Look up. Exhale and up. One last. Inhale. Exhale. Back to center. Fingers pointing forward. Stretching your shoulders, continue. Either melting heart position, keep your knees in line with your hips. You can take this, the edges of the mat, chest, chin, or forehead on the ground. Every exhalation, relax your chest even more. 10 counts. Left. Too much for you, adjust by walking your knees forward or bringing your forehead on the ground instead of your chest chin. Take five more breaths. Two. One. Come to all fours position, tabletop. Tuck your toes under. Round your back, cap position, and just pick up your knees two inches off the ground. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a long deep breath in your downward inhale. Open up your mouth, exhale and release. Inhale, exhale and release. One last inhale, exhale and release. Good. Inhale, look forward, right foot forward, left foot forward. Forward fold as you exhale. Maybe hands on your on your calf muscle, maybe holding your big toes, any variation of Uttanasana or hands underneath your feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. If it's too much, the tension on your hamstrings, bend your knees instead. Keep the body weight towards the ball of the feet. Engage your core for creating more space on your lower back. Relax your shoulders. Exhale, release your hands on the floor. Take the strap up along with you. Soften your knees and come up to stand. If you don't have a strap, take a towel or any belt. Few rounds of shoulder passes. Keep your hands wide apart with your palms facing forward. Okay, inhale. Make sure the strap has a lot of tension. Pull the strap apart. And forward. Now, if your hands are too close to each other, so there's a moment that you get a stop, right? And then you have to bend your elbows. So don't do that. Instead, get your hands wider and continue with your shoulder stops. Now, if it's starting to feel easier and easier and easier, get your hands closer and closer and closer. Your arms are straight. And also another thing, like sometimes we bring the hands too close that we need to keep bringing the heel up, heels up, right? So don't bring your hands slightly apart. Work on your own flexibility. Be true on your own practice. Three more. Two. One last. Exhale, release. We're gonna take the strap shoulder distance. Okay. And also, while you're placing the strap, make sure the buckle is not touching your skin. We're gonna bring the strap above the elbows, and we're gonna take downward facing dog position. Take first plank pose, so make sure the distance in between your hands and your feet is correct. And then from plank, take a downward facing dog. Okay. If the strap is above the elbows, you have this space for resting your forehead on your downward facing dog. You're not pushing back too much, just smile, rest. Try to send your heels on the floor and spread your fingers. Strong core. Two. One. 
Look slightly forward in the count of five. Slowly both elbows down at the same time. Five, four, three, two, one. Place your knees on the floor. Good. For this drill, we're gonna do it with the knees on the floor first, and then for the second round, if you feel comfortable with your arms, you're gonna do it with the knees on. Okay? Let me check the time. Okay, inhale, elbows up, both of them. Exhale slowly with control, elbows down. Spread your fingers up and down. Okay, so a couple of reps you feel comfortable. It's exactly the same thing from dolphin with your knees up, elbows up and down. Drills and conditioning exercises are important. It's not about just kicking up to a pose with no alignment, with no awareness. You need to prepare the body. One more. Good. Four arms on the ground. Take your knees on the floor. Take a little rest in try pose. You can bring your hands closer to each other. You can rest your forehead on your shoulder. Three more breaths. Open and close your fingers. The next one, also we're gonna do the first couple of rounds with your knees on, on the floor. Now make sure your elbows are in line with the shoulders. Now inhale, bring your chin forward over your shoulders and then back. Chin forward over your shoulders and push back. Your shoulders, you need to strengthen your shoulders for holding your entire body in a pincha mangasana for instance. Now, if you feel comfortable here, continue with your knees off the floor. Push back. And back. Three. Two. One. Knees on the floor. Release the strap. Take downward facing dog. A couple of breaths on your downward facing dog. So these two drills, Try to practice two to three rounds, 10 off each, okay? Take three more breaths in your down dog. Two, one more breath. Very good, okay, for the next one. Then let's play with Dao prop first. We're gonna place the elbows on the floor with the side of the forearms on the ground okay from this position elbows in line with the shoulders you're just gonna flip your hands facing down okay so again elbows with the side of the elbows on the floor then from here just you're gonna turn your hands facing down okay without the prop first okay from all fours position send your elbows on the floor now your hands are facing each other Take a couple of breaths, make sure your elbows are in line with the shoulders and bring your elbows in just a little and then push your elbows out until your skin make sort of like a lock with the skin against the mat. And then just turn your hands facing down. One more time. Elbows down with the side of the forearms on the floor. Push your elbows out, imagine you have the straps so the the elbows are not moving anymore, right? And then just flip your hands down. Good. Same idea, take your prop. Instead of in between your hands, okay? We're gonna practice with the prop in between your elbows, okay? Take the side of the forearms on the floor and then just flip your hands, okay? Couple of breaths here, three, two, and one, very good, release. We're gonna do exactly the same shape with L shape against your wall. I'm gonna do it against my chair, okay? Okay. You need to measure the distance first. So from a standing or from a sitting position, one leg apart, sort of, okay? Where your foot is, is where you're gonna place your forearms. 
do these two sets, okay? Side of the forearms on the ground and just turn your hands on the floor. Now squeeze your, squeeze your props, take an extra breath, bring your legs up against the wall or chair. Chair, it's a little more comfortable for those of you who are new into the practice. Relax your head and then maybe walk your feet forward a little more. If you are comfortable here, one leg up without opening the hips, square your hips. Can you see? Toes pointing back, not to the side. And exhale, other side. Squeeze your prop. Look forward. Exhale, release. Knees on the floor. Sit down. Shoulder rotation. We're going to try it again. One more set. And then all the way around. Okay. Just make sure there's no space in between your elbow and the prop, okay? Let's try it again. Once you're ready, side of the forearms on the floor and just flip your hands on the ground. Take an extra breath, inhale, legs up. Okay, maybe try one leg up. Like I said, don't open your hips, square your hips, elbows in, relax your neck, push back, push back. Can you see how I'm pushing? chest back, set, switch, and release, very good, take a child pose, just five counts, four, three, zero, and one, very good with the time, okay, come into a kneeling position, for the next one, we're gonna take the prop instead of like some of you, you know, these options. So, but today we're gonna continue with the same idea on the side of the forearms on the floor, okay? You're gonna take this, the prop in this way, okay? Take your knees on the floor. Imagine you have an extra prop in between your elbows. From this position, set the uh, forehead, the beginning of the forehead on the prop and then push back. On the prop, push back. Prop and push back. One more. And push back. Very good. So we're gonna try it against the wall. We're gonna kick up with this position. We're gonna set just the beginning of the forehead, not too much, just where above your eyebrows. On the prop and with this light support you're gonna kick up one leg up at a time okay let me show you first and then you try. I'm in this position I rest my forehead on the prop walk forward as much as you can one little hop once you're up, bend your knees with your feet apart and stretch your back. I still have a little support on the prop, but poof your chest back. Maybe one leg, maybe both of them. Now your turn. I give you, mm, let's see, one minute, okay? So if you're touching just, it's just a mild support on the beginning of the forehead. Remember your arms, elbows in line with the shoulders. Just mild support. Kick up with your right, with your left. In between poses, shake your head. Thirty seconds left. Squeeze your elbows. Imagine you have an extra prop in between your elbows and another one in between your hands. Take three more breaths. Two. One. Good. 
Take a rising child pose. One face on top of the other one. Look to the right. Then look to the left. steps away from the wall but still it's if you're starting to feel that you're not balancing just bring one foot on the, on the wall okay same idea rest your forehead the beginning of the forehead and keep your now from this position Push your chest back, back, and lift your head. Maybe yes, maybe not. If this light support helps you to find balance, go ahead, okay? Until you little by little start to get the fear out of your system. Guys, I'm gonna give you one minute for this. So take one step away from the wall, okay? Um, kick up with your right, but try to kick up with your left as well, okay? Try to kick up with both of them. Let's go. I'm with you guys. position with your arms by your side, four feet on the floor, open and close your fingers. Okay, we're going to try it again. So we have different length, right? So if the prop in level number one, you feel that it's too far away from you, just switch and bring it to level number two. Okay, so just make sure that you have a light support. Uh, for those of you feeling quite comfortable with this option with your forehead on the prop, so remember your setup, elbows, the side of the elbows on the floor, and you push away your elbows until you feel the lock and just turn your hands, okay? We're gonna try it without prop for those of you can. Push back your shoulders, and then if you feel comfortable with your balance, now you're gonna look towards your toes. So you're gonna change your gaze, okay? So first stage, looking forward. This is easier than keep your head neutral, okay? We're gonna practice for one more minute. Choose your options. If you still need the chair, go ahead with chair or kick up. Take your option with the prop, even option with the strap around your forearms. Let's go, one minute. Keep your neck long. Push your shoulders back and up. Side of the elbows, turn your hands. Changing my gaze. Stretch for your shoulders, come on to your belly. Okay, take your sphinx position. Now you can see my book a bit better. Right arm underneath and then the left. 
Rest your head, couple of breaths. Exhale, center. Switch, left on the knees, right is on top. seated position let's close the practice and then we talk for a little while okay bring your hands to your heart center take a long deep breath inhale hold your breath exhale and release inhale exhale and release one last inhale exhale Slowly open your eyes. Thank you. Namaste.